Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance video. Today I want to do a video about a couple of packages that I got in the mail recently. I just gotten one today from Chanel and then two or three days ago another fragrance came in from uh, FragranceNet. So I just want to tell you about what happened and what I got. So first of all, I placed an order with FragranceNet. I decided I wanted to get a bottle of aftershave um, from Chanel um, from FragranceNet. So I got that in my shopping bag and then I noticed that if I ordered maybe just a small little sample or decant travel spray I could get free shipping so I went ahead and included a travel spray with my order to get free shipping but then I get notified by uh, fragrance net that the bottle of aftershave uh, was either out of stock or they couldn't find it or something so they canceled the uh, aftershave and just sent me the travel spray uh, as part of the order so I got refunded for the aftershave and they charged me for the travel spray so let me go ahead and show you what that's all about so I got this here um, the travel spray it looks like it's actually more of a decant that they did they must have a decanting service there uh, for some fragrances this one's I Mancera's mean, Cedrut Boise EDP I don't think I've tried the EDP I think the original one I tried was the EDT so uh, yeah I'll be fun to check out um, unfortunately um, it's one of those twisty things, so I don't even know how much juice is in there. Um, I think it's like a 7.5 ml or something. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably check this one out and see how that goes. Because I do recall Cedrup was a really pleasant uh, fragrance. You know, some people say it's kind of like uh, Aventus. Not quite as smoky, more of a fresher Aventus-type fragrance with the bergamot, uh, I believe, in there. And uh, maybe uh, the leather. So yeah, I really want to have uh, more of a like a small bottle of Cedra Boise in my collection. I didn't really think it was necessary to buy a full size bottle since I don't really use fragrances in bottles that much anyway. And then of course they do include some samples here. There's exceptional because you are the women's version, and I actually reviewed that one already. I think this is the second time they sent me a women's version of the uh, exceptional. So, I don't know, maybe I'll give that away or wear it, I don't know. But there's also a new fragrance that they're promoting. Uh, maybe you've gotten this one too, if you've ordered from fragrance in that recently. It's called uh, Ate V, Eau de Parfum, Ibiza, I think it's called. So, it sounds like, uh, just based off of the name, it sounds like it's probably like a tropical vacation type fragrance. I'll have to do some research and hopefully review that one at some point as well. So, yeah, two samples. And the travel spray of Cedra was a EDP from FragranceNet. Now, when I couldn't get the aftershave from Chanel from FragranceNet, I went ahead and uh, ordered it somewhere else. And I was thinking about going the eBay route, uh, save a few bucks, but then I thought, well, you got to be careful with eBay because sometimes uh, their stuff can be unenthetic or uh, maybe the juice has gone bad or something. So I thought I'd just go straight to the source, go to Chanel, and hopefully get the freshest batch of aftershave possible. And they do send a nice little box when you order from them. Open it up. Yeah, you got a nice little uh, wrapper inside. You get like shredded paper and everything. But uh, here's the aftershave I was talking about. It is Blue de Chanel aftershave lotion. I know a lot of people talk about the EDT, the EDP, and the Parfum versions. But I thought it'd be nice to have the aftershave version because lately I have been enjoying aftershave lotions and I have quite a few in my collection right now that I like to wear from time to time. Uh, working in the hospital, I think aftershave lotion is a very um, nice way to go if you just want to put something on, not overwhelm your coworkers and patients, but actually have something you can wear uh, to work. And then uh, when you order from Chanel, I'm not sure if you're aware of this or not, they will let you pick a couple of samples. Unfortunately, the selection of samples wasn't that great. They had one guy sample to choose from, so I went ahead and, and chose to get that one, and that one is uh, the Blue de Chanel Eau de Parfum. And, uh, yeah, open it up, you get the sample and the picture of the bottle inside, so that's nice to have that one. And I went ahead and selected 
a women's sample was my second choice because I didn't really have much to choose from. I was hoping to get like Edition Blanche or something like that, or maybe one of the other Blue de Chanel uh, samples. But <laughs> yeah, I ended up getting uh, Coco, Mademoiselle, Eau de Parfum Intense. And uh, <laughs> that's what that bottle looks like. So maybe I'll try that one out and review it someday. See how that goes. Uh, very unlikely that I'll ever buy a women's version of uh, Chanel. For myself I don't know maybe my wife if she really liked it but uh, not for myself so that's what I got the aftershave lotion from uh, Chanel the blue de Chanel I got the uh, two samples uh, the blue de Chanel sample and the Coco Mademoiselle sample the Cedra Boise travel spray the exceptional because you are women and then the Ibiza fragrance uh, is free sample so yeah that's a nice little uh, way to start my week a couple samples full-size bottle of aftershave that i'll be wanting to check out as well so thanks for watching my video talk to you guys later